All right. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. All right. First and foremost, before we get started, we can give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhadash. They want to say double honor, Shai elders, our great apostles, great millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well, being great example to Israel, my dear elect. We want to say peace and blessings to the hope they elect on the four corner, which me the truth and sincerely, their great song. All right. With the GMS Memphis count. We come with a quick lesson, all right, through the spirit of power we have by Shema Shai. As you see the title, The Last Time Around, all right? And the last time around, meaning that what? Our captivity, all right? Us going through the trials of tribulation and, and, and you know, <clears throat> the hell that we catch on a day to day basis. You know, like the scripture speaks about, you know what I'm saying? Our iniquity, our iniquity is accomplished, our daughter Zion here, no more character away into captivity. But as we're in this captivity, all right, under the hand of this fucking devil, Esau Edom, there's a lot of things that finna go down, man. Better known as what? Jacob Trouble. All right, JT. You know, ain't nothing new on the sun as we're gonna get the scriptures that the so called white man finna come down, having great wrath, nor did what he had no but a short time. And there's a lot of things and a lot of events that the Lord have planned through the spirit that's gonna take place on the earth. All right, they're gonna guess what? It's gonna uh uh lift brother spirit up, and guess what? It's gonna it's gonna they tear, tear people down, man. All right, it's just the spirit that the Lord gonna have upon you is you're gonna be able to endure, all right, that what's coming upon this place, man. So with that, I hope you brothers and sisters be edified, you know, while we let the law down, man. You got it out. Come, this is Ecclesiastes chapter three and verse sixteen. And moreover. I saw under the sun the place of judgment. Their wickedness was there. No, that, that, that ain't it. Though. It got to be 15. Oh, okay. This is uh 3 and 15. Huh. It reads, that which have been is now. Right, there you go. And that which is to be have already been. Right. And the most high requires that which is past. Oh, yeah, that's not, that's not it either, but we can speak on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the most high do require that which is past, man. All right, because at the end of the day, what have the so called white man have song? He has song number witness. But guess what? What he gonna reap? He gonna reap the same, man. All right, but guess what? We're gonna be able to do it in righteousness because the Lord said, saying it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation of those that troubled us, man. All right, well, let me get this. This is uh, this is Job three and eight. It says, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. You know, and that's yeah. what's that's what's coming uh uh to Esau and, Edom, nine, man, and these and these uh heathen nations, man. Because they uh -huh. all, that's all they've done, man, is is uh reap wickedness, man, in the earth, man. Yeah, you know? yeah, and that's what he coming to do now. But just the time. That when he come down having great wrath, sowing his wickedness, guess what? The Lord going to uh, put him to shame. All right? Because remember, he was created for the day of evil. Yep. All right? So he's going to have a lot of, a lot of um, you know, uh, torture taxes. You know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, things, you know what I'm saying, to be, be shown and to be uh, put forth on Jake. Because of disobedience or the law of the commandments, what they have done. All right. So the Lord is using the so-called white man, the whooping stick, the sword, mm -hmm. to bring the hammer down upon Jake, man. All right, that's why I say uh it's gonna be a time like never before. All right, a time like never before, man. All right, because you can add up all the events that ever happened, all right, on the face of the earth. It, it won't ever equal up to the time of the Lord. All right, gonna allow things to happen upon the earth as we speak, and not in Jacob trouble, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but go ahead, I just want to Come, this is Ecclesiastes chapter one and verse nine. Huh. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be. Right. And that which is done, it is that which shall be done. Right. And there is no new thing under the sun. Say there's no new thing under the sun. All right. 
because what we're going to speak on going to the first Maccabee chapter, all right, that they tried in the time of Babel, you know, and they tried it again in, 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 the, in the Greek uh, captivity. But now they're going to try it again in, in, in uh, the rebirth, all right, which is what, trying to bring everybody on that one consent, all right, which is what the NWO, known as what the New World Order, man, all right? But guess what? It's going to be a lot of killing, a lot of destruction, all right? A lot of turmoil, a lot of, it's going to be just so much going on. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to have to pick and choose a side, you know? You're going to have to pick or choose a side. What are you going to choose? Life, which is you have by Shema Shai, have faith in the spirit, or you're going to choose death. All right, and, and put your trust in, in oppression, you know. But guess what? Ain't no new thing on the sun because this already <laughs> happened, man. It's just being played out. You gotta go out. And this is Romans 15 and 4. It says, For whatsoever things were written a four time were written for our learning, right? It was written for our learning, for what I understand, all right. Because when we leave, when we read the passages that's written in the scripture, we're like, damn, that's cold. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? It's a faith booster. All right? Because guess what? This time is coming back around again. They've been around sack Jerusalem again. But guess what? It's spiritual because we are the temple. All right? Remember going to uh, 70 AD? They ramshacked the temple. Now we are the temple. You see that? But guess what? It's ripped by our learning, but now we understand. You know? Esau going to come down again having great wrath. All right? You got to go out. All right, a precept. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of, men, of the men, that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of Right, and that mark is the mark what is exempt from judgment, which is going to what? Thawa. All right, that's the mark that's going to be set upon the men, all right, that sigh and cry, which is going to the elect. All right? Uh, uh, hold it right there, y'all can learn. All right. And go, go uh, grab first Maccabees. Well, what you got out? Uh, I was still holding Romans, but I had uh, I had Maccabees on deck. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grab Where you want to start at? At uh, oh, one forty three. Now start at uh, forty one. Yeah. All right. This is First Maccabees one and forty one. Revelation thirteen. It says, "Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom." That all should be one people. You see that? That's the what? The new world order. Yep. What it's been. It ain't, ain't, ain't nothing new on the sun, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the new world order that the so-called white man trying to establish now. All right, in America. Everybody come on at one consent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? New world order. Yep. All right, go ahead. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Exactly. So how how he gonna make it? How he gonna make it in that fashion today? Uh, read Revelation I uh, thirteen. Um, uh, you know, this is uh, Revelation thirteen and sixteen. Huh? And it reads, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Oh, yeah. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Exactly. See? So whether you're a Christian, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a, 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 a Buddhist, yeah. whether you're an atheist, you know, whether you're a, what did they, a, a, a conscious, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Black country, whatever you, whatever you, whatever you are, mm -hmm. guess what? He gonna, he, you, you gonna be tested. All right, that our temptation is coming to a door near you. Mm -hmm. You see that you are gonna have to 
pick or choose who you going to serve. Yep. You see that? Because everything is going to fall upon the so-called white man putting everybody on one what? Order. Mm-hmm. They, they what it's called uh, the one world government. Everybody on that one train, all right? That one-way ticket to destruction. And that's what it is, a one-way ticket to destruction. Uh, go ahead, keep on reading on that, uh, that Maccabees, Dr. Nunn. Oh, come on. It says, um, verse 43, Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and, sanct- and sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath. Oh, yeah. For the king had sent letters by me- messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Ju- Judea that they should follow the strange laws of the land. You see? And, and taking the MOTB is a strange what? Law. A strange law. Yep. Because that's the law of Esau. That's not the law of Yahweh Shemar Shah. They're not order and command about the Lord. Because he said, what, the, the Lord speak otherwise on that. He said, you should not get a cutting in your flesh. You see that? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple, and that they should profane the Sabbaths and, fest- and festival days. Right. And it's coming again. But you got to, uh, you know, um, what's the, the other one you want to get? Huh? What's the other one that you want to get? You get that Revelation 12 and 12. Uh, did you want me to finish this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish it out, yeah. All right. This Romans 15 and 4, I'm going to start from the top again. It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Right. It says, written for our learning. Because we read, all right, these events. All right, and guess what? It's going to happen again, but it's going to be more interesting. All right, because guess what? It's more uh, uh, advanced now. All right, it's more advanced. Esau is more uh, equipped in his blessing. You see that? So it's going to be a lot of things happening in the society. They're going to be way above our measure. That's why we're going to have to endure and, and push to what? Faith. You see, faith is what's going to keep us whole and keep us sane, all right, from being uh, gumpted in, in, in this society or, or, you know what I'm saying, being um, deceived and taking that mark, all right, which is uh, uh, the karagma. You see? Because it's coming. It's coming. The, the, you got to remember, when you read it in the Maccabees, the, 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 uh, the first Maccabees, second Maccabees, the devil came down hard on the Israelites, man. All right? He came down hard on the, on Jake because they didn't want to uh, bow down and consent to his laws. So what he ended up doing? He started killing Jake. Yep. yep. It's just coming. Yeah. And then Jake, uh, you know, hey, that, 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 uh, it's funny you say that, a. Hey, because Jake got roused up, man. Jake, you know, got to the point where he's like, man, hell no, I ain't bound down. You know? Uh uh Matthias, yeah, Judas uh Maccabees father, man, he 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 said a hell with this, man. We fight. Yeah. We not we not just finna fall in line. That same spirit is out here now, man. But you know, uh uh through the spirit and power you have by Shema Osha, man, the Lord gonna fight for us, man. Right. You know, like you, we were speaking on earlier, man, the standard is going to be lifted this time, man. So Esau, he don't got his plans in his mind on what he going to do to Jake that don't want to consent and don't want to uh, 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 fall in line with his agenda. Right. But, hey, the Lord got some plan for his ass, man. You know, when you try to uh, come for the uh, uh, men of the Lord, man, hey, you're going to get more than you bargained for, man, you know? That's right. Now read, uh, since you said that, go back to first Michael B's and read uh, 57. All right. You want me to finish this on off? And, uh, I just don't. You got to finish off and, uh, All right. and then grab it. It says uh, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. You see that through the what? The patience and the scriptures that we have a hope. Hope of what? Salvation. Hope of deliverance. Right. Hoping that the Lord have mercy upon us, man. 
You got to go out. Where you put the seven? All right. This is uh first Maccabee 1 and 57. Wow. It says, and where, wheresoever was found within the book of the testament or uh, or if any consented to the law the king's commandment was that they should put him to death you see you see that so what that means they coming for us man they come from the prophets all right they come for those that believe as they what did in the past time you see that so ain't nothing new under the sun go yep. ahead i keep going yep good day it says thus did they by their authority unto the israelites every month see that mm -hmm. with their authority it's not it's not the god of this world he saw either yep he not got the power and authority all right to put us in jail all right to kill us to hang us, to do whatever he want to do to us. Yep. He got the authority. He got the power. Yep. You see yeah. that? Yeah, the scriptures say he got, uh, uh, they they write those. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to just get it. That's, I'll write uh, the creed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll yeah. go to that one. Yeah, because yeah. it's in the power of their hands. Yeah, they uh, have a two, ain't it? I thought it was Isaiah 10. Let me see. I think they have Might a be Habakkuk. I don't know. Yeah, I think they have a good two and uh, two and two and one. Uh, yeah, it is have a cook, but this this is a good one too, though. It says, Woe unto them, uh, this is Isaiah 10 and 1. Yeah, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees uh -huh. and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, right? Uh, to, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. That widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Ooh, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's you speak on that. It ain't, it ain't have a great, it's Micah. Micah. Uh, yeah, Micah uh, two That's it. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Micah two on one. It's a lie, you, bro. Yep. But yeah, yeah, they they write those unrighteous decrees, man. Uh, he saw eat them, man. But that's where he gonna come down. Remember, he he he, he got no but a short time. Mm -hmm. So he gonna he gonna have to make. That's why I say order out of chaos. So he got to make uh, uh, certain events to happen, but he be able to have a, a, a so-called uh, right order to, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. come down with the certain laws that he had, you know what I'm saying, yeah, put in really. place. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's like like it's saying in the world, uh, throwing a rock and then hiding his hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he going to be justified in bringing, them, bringing martial law Mm -hmm. When he just robbed the people for what? Lack of bread, yeah. a lack of food, you know what I'm saying? Lack of resources, you know what I'm saying? No lights, right. you know what I'm saying? You can't work without uh, having a jab. Right. So they're going to they gonna make people in the overall state of mind. So he, now he justified bringing martial law, mm -hmm. bringing the, the, the NU, uh, NU uh, troops, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? To, to shut the city down and, and, and push for order within the country. Yep. He justified in there now. Yep. You see? We just got to go out. This is uh, Micah 2 and 1. Woe unto them that devise an iniquity and work evil upon their bed. Right, see, because this is something that this devil been practicing for so long. Yep. Remember, this is, is this is something that they, they've been cooking up and stirring up for years and years and years, man. This is not something that's new. All right? So the Lord said, what? Discretion up to them. You got it out. It says, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Ooh, see? It's in the power of their hands. Why? Because the earth was given to what? The hands mm -hmm. of the wicked. So guess what? Us being Israelites, we really uh, uh, made ourselves a prey. Yeah. You know? So when the devil do come down having great wrath, he know who to get. Those that what believe in who? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You got something? Go ahead. Huh? Yeah, this is uh Second Ezra, uh chapter sixteen and seventy-one. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahweh. You see that? Yeah. You see? They gonna come down like a madman, sparing nobody that's not down with their agenda. 
You see that? So that's why we're telling our people, two thirds of our people, you, you, you need to work the hell up. Because this devil is not on your side as you think he is. You women that are at ease, wake up. All right? Because he is not on your side. He is an a enemy. All right? He is an enemy, man. And he's going to show you women soon. He's going to show two thirds of you niggas soon, man. All right? It's soon to come. This is what he gonna show his true horn. You see that? Go ahead, out. This is Revelation chapter twelve and twelve. Uh, Therefore, rejoice, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Yeah, see, you know they have not but a short time. But when that devil do come down, having great wrath, get what the Lord gonna do for the men of the Lord. All right, get what Yahweh Bashamar Shah gonna do to, for them that believe and have faith in him and have trust in him and that fear him. He's gonna lift up a standard. All right? The Lord gonna intervene. There's gonna be a lot of things that Esau gonna wanna do to those that believe. Then guess what? He's not able to. Yeah. All right? Why? Because the angel are coming around about them that fear the Lord, man. All right? You got to know, uh, y'all can know. Yeah, hey, if I can say this, too, that's that's why uh, uh, being engulfed in this word and in this truth is the best place you can be, man. Yeah. You know, we, we're in the best possible place we can be, man, knowing all the things that are about to uh Unfold in the earth, man. Yep. This is where you want to be under the protection of your how about Shema Osha, man, having that hedge around you. You know? That's right, bro. This is uh let me get uh where well, you want Daniel first. Day twelve and one. Yeah, because yeah, they're gonna lift that he's gonna say say he's gonna lift that standard up when you know Esau come down. All right. This is Daniel twelve and verse one. It says, yeah. and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. We stand up for the children of thy people. Right. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. Why? And because Esau coming down with his legislation and laws to what? To have everybody on their what? One consent. You know what I'm talking about? Having everybody on their one world government. So through that, guess what? Esau going to mind that boy, hey, he coming with it. Yep. Anyway, say, oh, my dead body. So any mean necessary, man. The devil is going to come down with it, man. Go ahead, y'all can know. And it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Exactly. Why? Because the Lord going to lift that standard up. That's how bad it's going to get that the Lord had to bring the archangel Michael to step in. All right. That's how bad it's gonna get. You know? That's why I say this, but this the last time around, man. After this, guess what? It's no more of that. All right? Because guess what? We're gonna be finally at our rest. We're gonna be finally at peace. All right? Go ahead, y'all. This is uh Jeremiah 30 and 7. Uh, Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. Right. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right. You see that? So that's why we say ain't nothing new on the sun, because these devils been trying to do this, man. All right. These devils been trying to get us on uh on on that, you know, their vibration of a new world order. Everybody let's be all one. But the Lord never uh uh programmed us to be all at one. So that's why when you go into Genesis 11 chapter, speaking about the time of Babel, what he do? He, he plagued everyone and cursed them and what, gave them different languages. Why? Because they tried to make their tower to the Messiah and make their new world order then. It didn't work. It will never work. Because why? We not all equal. Yep. All right? And that's what the devil trying to do right now with that new world order. He trying to make us what? All equal. All right. Go ahead, Uh, uh that was a point. Uh, um, 
You hear that song? Uh, yeah, just a uh, quick one. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. It reads, But the soul of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. No. So what I, I, this is Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. It says, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. You, have you see that? The soul of the righteous are in the hands of the Lord, man. All right? And that's the faith that we got to have coming to these times. Damn. Remember, when you're going to Luke the 21 chapter, we're going to be brought up for kings. All right, you saw actually. If you remember, um, you can't forget they had the, the 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 list, the red list, the yellow list, and the black list. I think it was the black list or the blue list. You know, and the red list uh, was like the more dangerous uh, uh, going to the Israelite camp. You know what I'm saying? So you can't forget about that. How Esau already had labeled us. So guess what? They know us. So when time comes. They know where to find us. All right? But get what he said? The, the hands of the Lord is with the righteous, right? Mm -hmm. What else? And there shall no torment touch them. And there ain't going to be no torment touching us. Mm -hmm. You see that? But these things got to happen yeah. all over again. Mm -hmm. All right? But this is the last time around, though. Mm -hmm. This is the last time, man. Because guess what? Our nigga is accomplished. You know, we're now we're in our repentance stage mm -hmm. or returning back to the heavenly father. You say what I, I was gonna say, let them give verse nine too. Go ahead. God, this is uh jumping down to verse nine. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Right. What is the truth, man? The scriptures, the Lord's word. But first, you gotta trust. How do you trust in the Lord? You gotta have prayer. Because first the beginning of what? Knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Then when you then when you start to receive the knowledge with the understanding, then you start to trust the Lord because He gonna open you up to it. Then I did see that because when you start to see something, you start to believe in something. When you believe in something, you start to trust in something. And when you trust in something, what happens? You start to do it. It become a, it become like a, a first nature. Yep. You see, your head out. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Right. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. Mm. For grace and mercy is to his saints, mm. and he that have care for his elect. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Have care for his elect, man. Yeah. So, and the Lord's elect is going to be good, man. Mm. Even through all that turmoil, even through everything that that uh that's about to go down in the earth man uh -huh. you know it's it's written man the lord is going to protect the elect man you know yeah but just remember you know like we like we read uh ain't nothing doing the sun man all right because we can go through a lot of events of what happened to you know what i'm saying uh judah benjamin levite and then what happened to the northern kingdom right you know what I'm saying? All the things that these devils have done to them, trying to break them and make them submit into their laws and break the laws of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. All right? But you had men and women still bowling and ready to die. All right? Ready to get their life up to where it transgress the laws that you command of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Yep. So we got to gird our laws up. We got to be alive, faith, though. To be exactly how our forefathers, our foremother was, man. Mm -hmm. You know? No, I'm not taking that. I'd rather die than take the MOTV, man. You see, that's the type of uh, spirit you got to have on you. All right? We got to come back in, in, in the Maccabee spirit, man. Or oh, 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 rebellions for mm -hmm. righteousness. All right? That's the spirit you got to have on you, man. You got to rebel in righteousness, man. All right? Because what? I rather obey. What is it like? What Peter said? We uh, we we uh, obey. obey uh, uh, I rather the man, man. man. All right. So that's the type of spirit you gotta have upon you, because this is the last time around that this devil gonna ever have power and dominion over us, man. We next up. All right. We next up. Mm -hmm. So with that, man, I hope you brothers and sisters edified. Once again, we give all honor and glory and power to. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Once a double honors, tie elders, and peace and bless the hope of the
Next time, shout out to Juan. Shout out to Juan. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. Hey, Barack Hockey, man. Barack Hockey. Uh. DTA, baby. Yeah, DTA. 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 Yeah, D